Hey there, welcome to the 36th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. So do you know what this is? By this I'm not talking about my browser, but I'm talking about the this keyword in JavaScript. Just like var, it's a, it's a reserved keyword in JavaScript which has a specific definition of what you can do with it. Aside from being a keyword, it is not a variable. And this refers to whatever thing is currently owning a piece of JavaScript code. Uh, if it's an object, then the object is the value of this. And if it's a function, then this is whatever the object call the function, so it's not the function itself. And this is very important before we can dig into JavaScript object, objects because we'll be using uh, the this keyword plenty. So I wanted to do a quick uh, example, quick demo of how you can use this. And in this case, I've set up a two button scenario called attack and defend. You can think of it as a little game uh, where you click on attack. I want it to say you clicked on blah, 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 and defend, clicked on blah, blah, blah. So let's look at my HTML. So I have the two buttons set up and I set up uh, and I assigned both of them the class called button btn. Uh, so if we were using IDs, we would we'd have to target them one by one. But now we're going to use get elements by class name and target them both at once and store it in an array variable called btn. So now let's start coding. So we'll do a little for loop. We'll do var i equals to zero. i is less than button dot length. Remember that button is an array and we'll do i plus plus. So this way we're going to uh, iterate through the array and array of classes and do something with it. So we'll do but i dot add event listener. We're adding an event listener to these buttons. Click function. Let's close it. Uh, let's do the console log first. So the console log uh, will do this dot inner text. So what this will do is when I click on uh, any of these buttons, either attack or defend, because I'm adding it to the array uh, controlled by i, it will tell me the inner text of the entire object. Let's see, and this is where I'm using. So this is pretty much this object, the button i object. So if I run it, let's see what happens. I'll update and run. So now if I click on it, attack and defend. You can see in the JavaScript console down here, that's what it does. Attack, 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 defend, defend, attack, blah, blah, blah. So now you're probably asking, why can't you just do button I? Right? Uh, it doesn't always work. Let's see. I'll clear the console, update, and then run. And if I click on this, it says uncaught type error cannot read property in our text of undefined. So why doesn't this work? Well, in our case, uh, the value of button i isn't actually the entire HTML element that we have here. It's actually just the, the class name that we stored uh, inside the button array. Uh, hope that makes sense. So let's just do a little quick inner HTML. We'll do uh, document.getElement by ID. Just to practice a little bit, we'll do uh, command because I set up a little span ID here. Dot inner text equals to this dot inner text. Update, run. So now it says it's my mistake. I need to change this back to this. And now if I run it, there you go, attack, defend, attack, defend, as it updates here and in the console. So you can see having the JavaScript console open is helpful. Uh, it lets you know of mistakes as you do them, uh, rather than trying to wonder why your code isn't working. There you go. So that was a quick little introduction to the this keyword. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Uh, come back for uh, future tutorials when we're going to cover custom JavaScript objects where we'll be covering the this keyword plenty of times. And I promise you'll become an expert on it before you even know it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Uh, remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. And if you have any suggestions for more tutorials, please feel free to contact me. Have a good one.